Hi, I had some comments on uh, YouTube on my video uh, on how to uh, uh, copy text from a uh, secured PDF or a program asking or uh, asking me how to take screenshots. There's actually a lot of ways to take screenshots for different purposes. So I'm going to show you around six ways on how to take screenshots. So let's start with the easy one. On your keyboard, you'll find that uh, you have a key which is called print screen or uh, system RQ uh, as I have it here. So we'll click control and print screen will print the whole screen, including all the windows, including everything. So uh, I have MS um, Paint open here and I've just clicked control and uh, print screen and I can click control V and sure enough, I'll get the whole screen open for me, right? So, or clicked for me. So let's try another thing, which copy only the active window. I want only the active window. So I have, I have these two screen. One of them is paint behind and one of them here. So this is the second way to take the active, uh, active screen on your active window only. So I'll print in this time, alt plus print screen. So alt plus print screen will result that this is the active window. It will take a copy of this active window. So let me minimize that and let me go here, create a new one right and then control v paste and then sure enough i get the active window only uh, for me now this is if i want to use the normal one the normal ways of taking um screenshots uh, so if i want to copy only or uh, have a print screen on some parts on your page not all of it so i have actually microsoft uh, suite 2013 uh, offers me in all applications like word PowerPoint, uh, Excel, and OneNote. But OneNote is an earlier version also, so you can use OneNote conveniently. Uh, the other uh, Microsoft Office, uh, like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, I think this is the latest versions on like 2013 or maybe 2010. So I will open OneNote. It will open for me here. I can click Insert, and I can click uh, Screen Clipping. So Screen Clipping, what it will do for me, it will just highlight the whole thing as you see like this and then I can clip whatever I want and just keep it so it will take it here right so I can copy it and use it everywhere else or somewhere else I can also right click copy text from picture and paste that text right so you see libraries libraries um, now if I don't want to open uh, OneNote I can click um, window key uh, like the um, how uh, the Windows logo on the keyboard and S, that will give me the same result. You see, I can copy um, or let me take a screenshot of this, and it will translate into here. Now it's asking me, do you want to keep copy to clipboard or do you want to send it to OneNote? I'll say I want to keep copy to clipboard, and I can put it in a new document here. I don't want to save that and Control V, and you see I got the same result. I can of course copy it to OneNote again and see here I can paste it here, right click, copy from text if I want, copy text from picture, and then paste it. And sure enough, I get exactly the same word. So um, if we talk about other Microsoft Office in 2013, screen clipping works exactly the same way. By screenshot, it will take your active windows, whatever you want to take it. Um, PowerPoint or Excel have exactly the same option. It's here, right? Um, PowerPoint. Sure enough, you'll find it here also, the same thing. So this is all different ways to take screenshots and they offer you also screen clipping, which is exactly uh, the same thing as we saw with, uh, with OneNote. So I uh, hope this was useful to you. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, see you next video.